Hi guys. Um, today is Saturday. I gonna try to make some lumpia. Uh, a different way. Uh, I got the pot right now. I have this uh, chicken. Uh, I cut in little piece. Uh, and then I have this garlic. Put the inner and onion and red onion and then I put two cups of yellow potato this is a different way but it's really good I tried this already and of course this is my carrots and my green peas uh, it's frozen but I soak into water so and then I'm gonna use this um, Maggi seasoning for like soy sauce so that one and I will use um, I will use a little Johnny seasoning I don't have no black pepper so the Johnny seasoning have a little black pepper in it that uh, or maybe I can use a little bit of this um, McGormick uh, Montreal chicken uh, for my black pepper I gonna add a little bit of this so I gonna add some uh, oil uh, well I use this kind of oil they call sunflower oil and grape seeds for now um, but it's really good it's, it's healthy so I will uh, get uh, hmm, I don't know where my um, well, I just go add some um, one tablespoon maybe two tablespoon okay two tablespoon until it's warm I will um, fry the potato first and then take it out before I cook the chicken and I will add two tablespoon of uh, Maggi seasoning into my chicken This one, I get a teaspoon. Okay, one half, one half teaspoon of this to put in there. Go like this. And I will put the uh, chili to make a little uh, taste of the spicy. It's like about one half teaspoon, tablespoon, right there. There we go. I put all that together into the meat. And then I, I sprinkle a little bit of Johnny seasoning, that's it. And then I will add this together into the chicken.
Okay. I soak that a little bit in there. Go. Try to raise my hand. Okay. I will uh, fry this potato first. There we go. That's my potato. I like making lumpia that is already cook all the ingredients before I wrap into the lumpia rubber so to make sure that there's no uh, long-term cooking to make sure all the ingredients inside is all cooked so I cook it first before before I wrap some other people ideas also uh, they make all this and just wrap right away. I uh, know. Um, I don't want to do that because we never know if the meat is cooked inside. And besides, too much oil inside on it. And I only put a little oil just to cook the outside wrapper, lumpia wrapper. And it will really good. And I already sure that inside is already cooked. I let go that for a minute there. Let that for a minute. Yeah, stand by with me. I will tell you all the process how I make my lumpia. Lots of people really love my lumpia. Um, even my daughter. Every time they have party, she wants me to make any lumpia for them. And I love to do that. It's a hard work. It's a lot of process to do. But I love doing it. And make my loved ones happy. Okay, um... Let's try that. So a little bit until it's a little bit tender. So make sure that it's all cooked. And I will see you in a little bit. Hi right, guys. Now, now my potato is a little bit uh, tender now. So, uh, not that much but I because I'm still cooking it so I need to take it out from the pot so I will cook next the carrots okay Making lumpia is long process meat. Yeah. This is the way I cook my lumpia. So you guys, uh, I don't know if you want to follow my recipe or do the other way you want it. Um, it's up to you. And then I will try to put this um, garlic in it there you go there you go 
See, I don't use tomato oil, only tablespoon. And then I will add the, all the onion. I just got one half of the green onion and one half of the red onion. Uh, you can do whatever you want. You can do the the white the white whole onion, but I like the red onion for my lumpia. There you go. Try that. And then I need to take it out from the, so I can get the chicken until it's uh, all like this. Fill it up. So for a little bit. Okay, I will take it out and put back in here. The only one is good is you fried it first. There you go. Because I put that in the last minute. So it still be green. Never mind the other is in there. I can add Okay, now I will go fry my chicken that I cut in cubes. Uh, this is not the ground chicken. I bought the Thai kind type of chicken. Then I cut into little pieces. So I put all that in there and fry it. There you go. And then I will add another tablespoon of oil. Another tablespoon of oil. There you go. And then I'll stir it up. Okay, so um, wait until like five minutes until chicken is cooked. There you go. So I will turn that over in a little bit. Okay, guys, it's time for me to um, stir my chicken keep stirring until chicken is cooked Keep stirring.
So I will keep stirring the meat until it all dried up or cooked with the brown. Okay, um, we'll see you in a bit. Okay, guys, uh, I'm gonna add a little oyster just for the taste. Just a little bit here. One, three, maybe five drop, okay? Here you go. Chicken is already cooked and the natural oil, uh, water here is dry off now, but it's soft and smooth. And there you go. So now I will add the carrots. Add the carrots. Okay. Stir, stir it up with the meat together. like it's already ready to eat but I need to wrap this to make it into my lumpia wrapper I don't have that much lumpia wrapper um, because I did not go to the store I only have one that left over the last time uh, I put in the freezer I think it's only like 30 pieces on each bag A little bit. There we go. I need to cover it up. I cover it up for this five minutes just to get the carrots. Okay, I go and cover this. And stir it up. I will add the potato that I fried earlier. So, there we go. that up into my lumpia there we go
and cover for another five minutes. Okay, guys. Um, I'm gonna go put some gloves now. Um, there we go. I will open this. Here's my lumpia. Make sure the potatoes. Oh, well done. Hoo -hoo. So ready. There you go. And then I will add the spices. And that would be it. There you go. My potato and green peas and carrots chicken cut in little tiny pieces and my lumpia is cooked and then I need to chill this in the fridge for at least 30 minutes or an hour until it'll cool off because uh, you cannot wrap it up while it's still hot so probably an hour uh, to put in the fridge and then it's ready to wrap so here you go guys here's my lumpia it is done and it's cooked it's cooked I need to put that in here so right there to cool off see you don't see any more juice so like that this is ready to wrap I guess I need to go to the store just to go buy some lumpia wrapper enough for me time because I gonna put this in the fridge for one hour until it cool off before I start wrapping so what time is it is six o'clock I will go down to the store and buy some lumpia wrapper there you go. this for a while the chicken for like 30 minutes lots of things to process so here it comes here's my lumpia and it's I put in the fridge for one hour to chill it up you go guys thanks for watching and we'll see you in one hour after I put this in the fridge bye bye See you in a little bit. Hi guys. Uh, so I will wrap the lumpia now. So let me watch here. 
Okay, this is the lumpia I'm using uh, for my wrapping because it's like a triangle. So I'm gonna show you how to wrap it up. That one, each one of this. Okay, I put like like this. Wrap it up and then I put a tablespoon of my lumpia. There you go. Um, so I put in here and then I try to make it tighter and then like this. Oh, I forgot my water. First, I got some. Hold on. Okay, got some water to seal. Like this. Here it comes. There's my lumpia. Okay, more. There we go. Add another tablespoon of my lumpia. That's easy. Right there. To make the posit end. To make it a little tighter. Fold it. And another folded and keep rolling and then roll roll all the way see like this so until like that I got water to seal it okay here comes my lumpia you see that my lumpia everyone okay and we'll see you in a little bit okay guys uh, here comes my lumpia and uh, I will continue wrapping all of this but that's the way it is now is like this so we'll see you and thanks for watching and please subscribe this is Big Nick and Mochi bye bye we'll see you